Welcome back everyone! We are here in the Wind Peak Inn in Dawnstar, and Ike has just uh, woken up. Uh, she and Erender, rather, have just woken up. We're going to help ourselves to a complimentary meal here. Um, we'll go get some breakfast in our bellies. Uh, just woken up from a night of watchful sleep, in which uh, Anaik has rested rather comfortably, knowing that she now has a, a partner here to make her... Oh, okay, he just... you going to come sit by us, or are you just going to... Well, whatever. She's got somebody to travel with, which makes her comfortable. Uh, but she's not too comfortable, because she doesn't have her beloved... There. Something was bugged out the last time we played. She doesn't have her horse, and that's what we're going to do today, is go get our horse back. Um, so, we do have some shopping, essentially, to do here in town before we go. Or rather, like, off offloading of things. Um, and then we're going to have to hoof it back toward Morvenscar. So we'll be able to explore the... Mara protect us both. What time is it? Okay, it's nine o'clock, so we can do some shopping and still have plenty this of. Is a local favorite. Won't be too early. Uh, Erinder, wait. Wait, wait, wait! Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Trade some things with you. Learning on a roof, eh? Before we go, we're going to. You're, you're in the curtain there. We're gonna give an um, Erinder some of our clothing that he can wear. So we've got apprentice robes of restoration. But we've got several other. We'll give him some gloves. We will give him the novice hood, and we'll give him those are necromancer robes of alteration and conjuration. We've got minor restoration or restoration. We'll give him the, those, and we'll give him a brown fur cloak, keep him warm, and we have a face cover too. We can give him. Let's give him red, and let's. Let's um, put the green on an egg and let's just see how that looks. I'm ready. Let's continue. Boop. Sitar, what the hell, dude? Yeah, it looks good. Okay, uh, one last thing, Erinder. Whoa, 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 everybody. Watch what you're doing. Tweak option. Oh, no, wait. Hang on. Sorry, everyone. I'm ready. Um, we don't, we want to teach him healing. And we want to teach him another thing that we just learned. What was it? Oh, iron flesh. I don't know that he'll continue use it. It'll probably take up like half of his magicka every time he casts it, but we do want to teach him these two. Teach follower equipped spells. Iron flesh, healing. Nice. Alright, I think we are ready then. So let's let's uh, we'll hit the uh, mage and the apothecary, and we might have some weapons we need to unload too. I don't know. I don't think that we do because all we did was really fight mages, right? And Morvenscar, like. Um, before we get too far into it, I want to apologize, everyone, if I have to I'll pause the both. Um, recording at any point or mute the mic because my nose has been really. It's, what the? <laughs> the hell is this? Erinder, what are you doing? Um, we'll save the guard's life. Erinder, do something. Okay, you guys seem to have taken care of it. What's. Is that it? Damn. Seems like everybody's calming down. Bandit attack right in the middle of town. It's crazy. Mmm. You know, we'll take it because we're about to go sell a bunch of stuff anyway. Ooh, and food. Actually, we'll take that too. Like I said, we're going to go to the... Um... We're about to go to the blacksmith anyway, so we might as well. This land was my home. Where's the third one? Life. There was a third one, right? Oh yeah, we're done. Hmm. 
interesting. Quite a statement, I don't know that I've seen that before. I am taking as much snowboard snowberry as I can find. Because we are all out of slow time. Now I know that I don't have anything to mix it with I to make more slow time, you but all the same. I'll need it. I mean, eventually I'll find some, right? And I'll need all the all that I can get. Who are you here, guard? Um, so, a couple things that I've done since last time we played. I went through and rearranged my hotkeys so that I'm using more spells that I use more often. Hopefully that will help. Um, hopefully that'll help me be m better about actually using my hotkeys, because I, at, at least in Morven Scar I was pausing a lot using my hot, my quick menu. Which... Eh. You know, I kind of benefit from it because I am not so great at combat, especially magic combat. Them. I know I'm not the best player in the world. Um, and it helps in that it, I give, it gives me time to think if I can pause the game. But at the same time, it's also kind of dull and it doesn't make for the most interesting uh, gameplay. So I'm going to try to be better about it. I could enchant that, but I don't have any good souls. So let's just sell it. Um, and I know that we do have one big thing. Oh, we can sell that because we don't want to ever see that again if we can help it. Hold those so I can see if I can disenchant this right here. The old Sanguine Rose. This is the staff that we won in our drinking contest, contest and related... Um, You know, <laughs> related reorganizing of our lives. Um, a Nyg is never going to use this because the power is that it summons a Dremora for 60 seconds. And she was looking at it last night as she was going to bed. She asked Erender about it. And he's like, I, I would never use that. Blah, blah. So we're going to sell it. We're not going to destroy it. You know, we're not going to like leave it somewhere because it's not. A Nyg's opinion of Sanguine has changed quite a bit. I think if you remember before, she said that. She thought that you know, he was kind of like Shirogorath, where at best he just he just messed with people, and she definitely feels messed with. But she also kind of had fun, you know. I mean, she knows she had a good time when she was drinking with him, even though she doesn't really remember it. And she also kind of appreciates the lesson that he taught her, which was to be more careful who she associates with. You know, she can't. She's tried to be really careful so far while she's been in Skyrim, but she can't afford to make sloppy mistakes like what she did, and that was a really good reinforcement, I think. And maybe that's what Sanguine was trying to tell her from the beginning. Maybe he wasn't just trying to mess with her. So, um, and then on top of it, a Nyg feels kind of like, kind of a badass. Like, I partied with freaking Sanguine, man, like a Daedric Prince. I partied with that guy. So... So she doesn't think like, oh, this is a Daedric artifact, it must be destroyed in the nearest volcano. Um, but at the same time, she's not going to use it, so she's okay with selling it. Uh, so what we need to do is we probably need to buy something from Medina here that will give her some gold so we can sell her back Sanguine's Rose. She's not about to keep it as a keepsake or anything like that. She doesn't really have any place to put it, and it is big. Yeah, 10 pounds. That's, that's take up a lot of space. So, let's see about spells. We could buy Calm. That'd be useful. And... What else? You know, um, Healing Hands would be useful because we do have Erender with us now, and we have Glim. We may need to use that. Expensive too. I'm guessing it's an apprentice restoration spell, which we don't have the perk for. Hmm. Or we could get a rune spell. Let's get fire rune. Wait, how expensive is healing hands? 386. Actually, it's cheaper. Let's get that. Yeah, I know. I know, there goes a lot of my gold, but we're about to get 400-something of it back. Booyah, kasha. Okay. Back 
do another. Let's read some books. Bing, bing. Day in Dawnstar. Let's try to disenchant. If we have anything we can disenchant, we can tell a couple things back to her. If we don't, that's what we're wearing. Disenchant the foul necromancer robes. And disenchant the regular restoration robes. Our enchanting skill barely even inched on that one. Okay. I don't remember. Do we have anything else to sell? I had hoped. So, you wish to master the arcane arts. Robes of minor conjuration. Six gold. Yeah, whatever. Oh. No. Until next okay. time. Okay, one last item here, and that is. Um. Calm. You'll notice too that I, I'm switching to Iron Flesh, even though it's going to cost me a lot of Magicka. It's. The, the armor perk is just flipping awesome. So. What was the other one that I bought? Healing Hands, yeah. I don't know that we'll be using that too often. But all the same. Okay. I also hotkeyed the a couple of frostfall abilities like the weather sense and the crafting thing so that I can use those as we travel. Oh dear. Is weather like this when we were out here before? I don't think it was. To the apothecary. I use the word apothecary and alchemist like interchangeably, and I know the they're not perfectly the same thing. If you can't tell them but at the same time, I'm, I'm just, I'm just using them the all the time, back and forth. So sorry about that, everyone. I know they're not the exact same thing, and I probably shouldn't use them interchangeably, but I have been. Oh God, just one. That's no good, because we're completely tapped out, Anigra members, on. Um, on magic potions. I need to get a damn thing from that. Hmm. Nothing from that either. I grew up in the pale. This land was my home for most of my life. Well, that was a waste. I don't know if we have any potions to sell. Oh. I like to think that maybe Erinder knows Frida. Maybe he like helped her out around here because he is, you know, kind of a magical bend, maybe a, an alchemy bend. So he might. You know, he's been in Dawnstar for a while, we presume. The mortar and pestle has cures for every illness, from ataxia to whitbane. Good to know. So you're interested in my potions and ingredients? Mm-hmm. What do we have to sell? I sell those three. And that's gonna be about it. Oh, we do. Oh, that we made that one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anything else? Nope, just that. You please tell me you have you have a couple. It's not much, and it costs a lot, but it's something. All right, let's Let see. Um, do we have any other stops? Oh, yeah, the blacksmith, right. Just all that gear we just picked up. You know, we could Mara take that boat. Both. Um, But there's a reason, and I wouldn't, I think. If I can think for just a second. Uh, well, oh, one is that she wants to still revisit the Vigilant Hall and kind of investigate what the hell happened there. So that's one. And then two is she's still, you know, generally concerned about her, you know, anybody knowing where she's going or where she's coming from, that kind of thing. So she's still playing that I helped my cool. husband Rustley run the forge. Close to the vest anyway. Mark, the finest weapons and armor. Okay, so we can sell you that and that and that and that. Keep those. Sell you 
Should we give... Maybe we should... No, he's got the mace. I was going to say we should give him a weapon, but he's got a mace. Okay. We're good. And we've got a decent amount of gold, we too. Forge every day if you need anything. Mara protect us both. Well, what time do we have? 11.01. We'll eat lunch on the road. Erender, you're with me. Let's go and let's hope it doesn't get too crazy out there. Let's check the weather. Air is frigid and deadly. Yes. Makes sense. Ooh, Khajiit. Let's see if the Khajiit have some potions. It is a strange sight. The white flakes that sometimes fall from the sky. I forget which caravan it was that helped Anaig with the dragon with uh, Mirmalnir. I don't think it was this one. I think it was the other one. Out of bar. So many refuse to talk to us. Take a look. Do you have potions? Any magica? Ooh, you got. Okay, that's good. That will help. What else you got? Sneaking. Eh. Hmm. Eh. Sorry guys, I hit the, the mic. My mistake. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, you got some full soul gems, but nothing I can afford. Let's go, Erender. Who knows what we're going to see out here. In fact, what do we have armed? Firebolt, that's good. I mean, it's a start anyway. with us. Alright. So yeah, we taught him spells, we gave him some more, you know, useful clothing. What's going on here? Dawn Guard. Yes. They got their own husky. Ooh. Wish I could just walk next to you guys the whole way, but you're a little too slow for my liking. I wonder if they're going to the uh, Vigilance Temple to... I keep calling it the the Hall of the Vigilant to investigate the uh, attack there. They would seem to be interested given that their goals are very much in line with the uh, Vigilance. Hopefully this time we won't freeze to death out here. Of course we do know now that... Pale. This land was my home for most of my life. Mm. And for a Dunmer, that's quite a statement, I assure you. grew up here. So he probably he may actually be from Dawnstar then. Like he may not have just been hanging out there because of the Vermina thing. Oh no, wait, he was at the yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course he's lived in the Pale for most of his life. He was a member of the temple. That reminds me, that's something that um, a commenter pointed out that if you'll remember the very end of the Nightcaller Temple quest was a little bit bugged out because the sleeping orcs ended up killing the last two Fermina devotees, and they were um, the two that you see in the dream stride. So a commenter pointed out, he's like, yeah, you know, you didn't get to see the conversation, but if they, if you were the one to kill them, um, Erendur reveals that they're, they're his friends, and he was actually the brother Casimir that you appear as in the dream stride. So he changed his name. So I was like, oh yeah, that's, that's kind of a bummer that I didn't get to see that, because that's some good character depth. Um, but I'm going to say that when Nigan Erender are camping out here on the trail that they'll he'll he'll share that information with her so it won't be missed entirely. So Oh 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 jeez. Another amulet of Stemdar Stendar Mortal Blood. Hmm. Man. What a mess. Ethereum Wars. Oh, dear, we got a quest from that. I guess it makes sense that they would all have amulets of Stendar. That's apt. He has the Book of Daedra. He must have thought it would be useful, too. Here it 
disease. Oh, I could use that, maybe. And they've got a lot of torches. That's good. We won't want for torches. Well, that's it. Can we see? Oh, we can't get out there. Any other clues about, like, maybe this was a sp specific vampire clan that did the attack? A little bit chilly. Let's get uh, a torch out to help keep us warm. Let's just search around the back of the building here. Nope, nothing else. Man, those vampire sons of bitches. <laughs> 